The famous Buddhist monastery also known as Golden Temple is situated in a few hundred meter northwest of Patan Durbar. This beautiful life-size icon of Lord Buddha is decorated with jewels, which is worshipped by a young boy called Vahaka regularly. Whereas the elder priest is appointment as his assistants. In western India's Marwar country, the king Siddhata's first wife Pingaladevi did not bear a child and as such for a child the king married another lady, Bimaladevi, the younger sister of Pingaladevi. Bimaladevi gave birth to a child as such it became difficult for Queen Pingaladevi to stay at the palace. The Queen Pingaladevi was quite fed up with the behavior shown to her and left the country. She came to Nepal, visited Swayamhu, Guyeshwari, and stayed at a place known as Bishal Nagar. In this place, Queen Pingaladevi stayed paying true devotion and homage to Lord Buddha. One day she had a dream of the Buddha's icon with 32 Lakshyanas and 84 Binajanas. She became very happy and made an icon of Lord Buddha just like the same as she saw in her dream. In order to place the icon she needed a Vihara, Buddhist monastery, she took help of the king of Nepal and constructed a Vihara to put the icon into it. The Vihara was named as Pingala Vihara. These days the place of this vihara is known as Pingalasthan in the Pashupati area. Later when she devoted her life at the service of Lord Buddha remembering her husband, Goddess Guyeshwari in disguise of an aged lady told her to perform Masa Yupavasa Vrata, fasting for a month long, to meet her husband. So, she took only the holy water of Lord Buddha's shrine giving up all food and performed one month fasting for his well-being. As a result, at the end of successful fasting, the king Siddhata came to visit her. The king asked her to forgive Bimaladevi's behavior and took her to his country. Later on, a big earthquake caused demolished the Vihara and the monks went to live in other places. The Vihara was abandoned, since there was no one to look after it. At that time, Kulapad Acharya of Nyakakyaka, Lalitpur used to go to the service of Guyeshwari daily. One day due to fog, he mistakenly arrived at Pingalasthan of Bishal Nagar. He saw Chitya in the middle of Vihara and became very happy. He kept on going daily to Guyeshwar through the same route visiting the Vihara. One day Kulapad Acharya also had a dream of the icon of Lord Buddha which was inside the demolished Vihara. He talked with the local people about his dream. The local people told him that they heard the sound of bell ringing three times a day in the morning, afternoon and evening but when they went to find out the reason, they saw nothing. They all guessed that there must be an icon of Lord Buddha inside the debris. They started digging and found an icon of Buddha. After notifying this to the King Bhaskardev, the icon of Lord Buddha was put into a chariot and was taken to Kulapad Acharya's place, Nyakachika. In order to establish the icon, King Bhaskardev built a new vihara naming it Enhabaha. After placing the icon of Lord Buddha in the new Vihara, Lord Buddha appeared in the dream of King Bhaskardev and commanded, O King, in the north direction of the Vihara there is Ratna, Jewel, Chitya and Hiranyavarna Mahavihar, where a golden colored rat with glittering eyes likes diamonds known as Hiranyaka who used to chase away a cat. Put me there. The king consulted his astrologists about this dream. The astrologists told him that in the western side of the Vihara, a rat known as Hiranyaka stayed. They advised this as a good idea to establish the icon of Lord Buddha there. After consulting the astrologers, the king himself went to the place, chose a place for and established the icon there building another vihara. The vihara was named after the Hiranyaka, the rat.